It's a picture-perfect day here in Copley Square. After 910 days, the Boston Marathon is back. This is a big moment for the city and for runners across the globe. Erica is one of 20,000 runners, and by the end of the week, she will have two shiny new things to display, her medal and a wedding ring. The timeline is actually not the perfect time because we are getting married on Saturday, so I am running a marathon five days before I walk down the aisle. This is the first in-person Boston Marathon since 2019, and runners are not letting anything stop them. There's a lot of marathons, but there's no Boston. It's Boston's the only Boston. That's it. It's our Super Bowl. Mark and George are from Canada, and they had to jump a lot of hurdles to make it to Boston. So it's not as simple as, okay, well, I'm vaccinated, here I come. We had to go through all that, plus make sure that we were negative in it. All of us. At the first one, I felt like I was like my, my wife waiting for the pregnancy test. Oh. <laughs> This marathon is historic for many reasons. After a year and a half of canceled events, runners and their families are just excited to be back here in person. The Woo, let's go. Marathon veterans say the last time they saw this much support from the community and other runners was after the marathon bombing in 2013. I feel like Boston Strong does take on a whole new meaning after COVID too. Like the fact that it's like, we're kind of coming out on the other side a little bit. J.R. Sandati is running with his childhood friend for Project Hope, a charity in South Boston. I mean, the ability to connect with the community, right, at a, at a core level, I think it's what probably is. Uh, some of these races are meant to be, uh, bringing the communities together. Thousands of people like Erica and J.R. have come to Boston this weekend, and all of them are embracing the community as their own. Tomorrow will be a day of celebration and excitement for the runners, their families, and Boston itself.